Yeah, Joanne, this came right down to the wire. Check it out. Morocco's secretary sent this email at 1029 last night to the ethics panel saying the facility in question is not owned by Macomb County, but a drainage district. That's a technicality, but the ethics panel rejected that. Check it out. As we've been showing you, the campaign ad was filmed back on August the 31st at the Chapman and Retention Basin in St. Clair Shores. When we arrived on that day, Morocco tried to exit stage right, but then later admitted to me that he was doing a campaign ad here. County ethics prohibit the use of taxpayer facilities for campaign purposes. Morocco now today did not appear before the ethics panel. His campaign manager did. You're going to hear from him in a second. The ethics panel voted unanimously to reject Morocco's claim that he would not be in violation. He was, and he was fined $125. It could have been $500, but this is not about the money. This is now an ethics violation and a label Morocco now has. A public figure like Mr. Morocco decides not to show up at this hearing, decides to email a response at 1030 at night. I frankly believe it shows the disdain that he has for this ethics board, for, this here, for the ethics procedure and ethics uh, as an elected official. I am his campaign manager. Well, when's he going to answer some He'll questions? Have a statement this, is, for you. this is a political season. Doesn't he owe the voters some answers? I'm going to ask you to stop following me. Uh, this is a public facility. Sure. I have a right to be here just as much as you do. So his campaign, campaign manager says we will be getting a statement. Remember, this is now a label that voters can consider when voting in less than three weeks. This is a hotly contested race here in Macomb County. Anthony Morocco facing longtime Congresswoman Candace Miller, who's running against him. Live in Macomb County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. We'll see how it all shakes out, Jim. Thank you. Hundreds of students.